hello everyone in today video we are going to discuss active passive high availability in palo alto firewall there are two types of ha in palo alto one is active and passive and second one is active and active and most of the customer they configure active and passive ha because it is less complex or uh, it is easy to ma uh, do maintenance as compared to active and active so here we have follow to firewall one okay so this is firewall one and this is pa firewall two and we we are using two link one is ha1 and second one is ha2 okay so ha1 mainly we use use it for the control traffic okay so if we are sending any hello packet or heartbeat all the information we shared in ha1 link that is our control link and second link we always use for the session synchronization or we can say say it like it is a data link okay so all the data traffic we send to uh, send on ha2 link so i have created this diagram okay so this is our pc and this is some switch and both uh, both the firewall connected to the switch and we have formed ha between pa1 and pa2 so uh, so for example if pa1 is active okay so if this this is active okay if this firewall is active and pa2 is passive we will discuss the selection criteria uh, in this video after some time so as of now just consider this uh, pa1 is active and pa2 is passive so when this pc will send any data for example if uh, if we have a internet okay and we have some internet and this uh, pa1 and pa2 both are connected to that internet okay in that case when this pc is sending traffic so all the traffic will follow this path okay okay it will go like this so P, pa1 will process all the traffic and pa2 will be on the standby if anything goes wrong with pa1 if something happened wrong for example if link went down or firewall crashed or something happened in that case passive firewall will take over all the action okay and this passive will become active okay and if preemption is enabled okay and again after some time this uh, active firewall came up okay so again this pa1 will become active that will happen when we have enabled preemption so this is the basic concept how like active and passive firewall work okay how data flow so uh, here we can see all the data will flow through active firewall only however if we discuss about active and active okay so in active and active we have to connect one more link okay ha1 ha2 and ha3 okay so one more link we have to connect between pa1 and pa2 and in that active and active both firewall will work at a same time and both firewall will process all the data traffic okay so that is active and active concept we will discuss in details in some other video so and the selection criteria we always use the priority so who like uh, like we we give some priority number for example by default it is 100 and uh, the lowest priority will become a active so if the priority of this pa1 is 90 okay so if it is 90 okay and for pa2 it is 100 so pa1 will become a active firewall so that is the basic criteria to become a active firewall or passive firewall okay now next we are going to discuss about this ha1 and ha2 okay so let's discuss this ha1 and ha2 okay so here we can see we have two link okay we have a management plane and data plane we can see we have two plane management plane and data plane 
uh, this is in PA1 okay so this is PA1 okay and this is PA2 in both we have the management plane and the data plane okay and here we here this is HA1 link HA1 link and we are using L3 connection okay however on HA2 we can use the L2 connection and HA1 always it will be always slightly in, encrypted we, we, because some of the information will be encrypted so that's why I'm I'm giving a, a star sign here okay so it will be slightly encrypted not fully encrypted so the information we are sharing on the HA1 HA1 for example hello packet that will be slightly encrypted so in both the firewall we have two plane management plane and data plane so this is for uh, uh, for management plane we always use the HA1 link so if we are sending any hello packet heartbeat or some other uh, configurations and all so all the information we we are using HA1 link and HA2 link we we always use use it for the data plane okay so in data plane we always send uh, send all the like session synchronization ARP table MAC table or uh, never 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 discovery or never ship forming virtual MAC address DOS block list entire so these type of uh, session synchronization or like to sharing these these details we always use data plane link that is HA2 link okay so here if you see HA1 link is used to sync management plane data for example hello packet heartbeat configuration and management management plane system runtime information like IP user mapping and FIP table data flow is uni uh, this is for data link okay so this is for the data link okay so this is unidirectional from active to passive device okay so when we are uh, because uh, only the, uh, if it is active and if uh, pan b is passive okay so all the synchronization we always do from the active to the passive most of the time like uh, customer also doing this type of mistake if they are uh, after forming the uh, like uh, HA between active and passive, uh, they are requesting uh, configuration synchronization from the passive firewall. So in that case, all the configuration available in the passive firewall will be copied in the active firewall. So and all the available configuration who was uh, who are uh, like avail all the earlier earlier configuration available in the active firewall will be removed. So in that case, you will lose all the configuration. Okay, so we we always need to uh, request for configuration or uh, configuration sync from active firewall to the passive firewall. Got it? And so and uh, next uh, we are we are discussing data flow. It is a unit. That's why we are calling calling it unidirectional because we always do the synchronization from active to passive firewall and the details so these type of details we always share through ha2 link so we can see this is session table ARP table mac table neighbor discovery and the table okay virtual mac dos block list entries ip6 question number so there are so many lists okay so many information so all these type of info information we always share on the ha2 link and next we are going to discuss uh, states okay so there are uh, five to six states in HA okay so here we have those states okay so here we can see we have uh, these states we have initial active passive tentative suspended and the non-functional okay so this is the first state okay initial state okay so the firewall will remain in this state for 60 seconds when the firewall is boot up okay after boot up uh, firewall will remain in uh, wait for 60 seconds okay so if uh, it uh, found never chip if uh, that firewall found any like any ha ha peer then it will form the 
uh, it will do the, all the negotiation okay HA negotiation and it will form the HA if there is no no HA peer okay after boot up then uh, that firewall will become an active firewall okay and same thing will happen for both the firewall and for example if we haven't connected any link between uh, PA1 and PA2 okay so if this is uh, far, uh, firewall 1 and firewall 2 okay and we have done all the configuration on on both the firewall however we haven't connected any link between these firewall 1 and 2 in that case uh, after boot up okay uh, both firewall will wait for 60 seconds and if they will not uh, like detect any uh, peer ha peer then both both firewall will become an active firewall and the ha states will be initial state okay and second one is active this is the normal state okay means ha has been formed and we are we are doing all the operation both like active firewall is processing all the traffic and passive firewall is uh, just in a standby passive uh, normal backup state uh, so once uh, like HA form one firewall will become active other one will be in passive state okay so all the traffic will be handled by only active firewall tentative state caused by the monitor object failure so for example if we have created any object uh, to monitor this HA, uh, HA link or uh, these uh, HA, HA configurations okay so if we have configured that type of object between like on both the firewall firewall 1 and 2 if something went wrong with those uh, objects and uh, in that case the HA states will be tentative state and next one is suspended uh, ad suspended okay so this is administrative like manually when we have disabled the ha on both the firewall in that case uh, you will able to see suspended state and next is non-functional if something went wrong with uh, firewalls in that case uh, the states ha states will be non-functional okay so uh, next we are going to discuss all the monitoring uh, what are the monitoring we can do okay to verify like uh, to uh, keep our HA state in normal okay so if something went wrong we should notify immediately in that case we uh, we have these option okay so we can see active passive hardware poly okay so by default uh, if this is firewall 1 and firewall 2 so active firewall they it will keep sending hardware it will keep sending to hardware to passive firewall so hard poly means uh, this active firewall it will keep sending the uh, hardware hardware packet to the passive firewall and if uh, like uh, there is some uh, dead interval of time okay so if passive firewall will stop receiving those packet heartbeat packet in that case this firewall will become a uh, passive firewall will become a active firewall so this passive will like when passive firewall stops receiving heartbeat packet then it will suspect that uh, active firewall is down now that's why passive firewall will become an active firewall we can also configure the link monitoring okay so if we have firewall 1 and firewall 2 and and we have connected uh, ha1 and ha2 so we can configure link monitoring for these uh, these link okay so for example if this is uh, ethernet 1 slash 1 okay so this is 1 slash 1 and this is one slash two so so we can configure the monitoring for these links okay so if anything went down anything went down then we can create the action what action we want to take and if we want if we want we can make that passive firewall will become an active firewall and we also have the concept for path monitoring here we can do virtual wire path monitoring vlan path monitoring and virtual router path monitoring so uh, 
here like if you are if you want to monitor some specific ip address and like uh, if you if you have some ip address and all in that case you can configure the path monitoring okay so for that uh, you can uh, you can use these methods okay so that's all about this video okay in next video we are going to discuss uh, ha HA active passive troubleshooting okay so if something is going wrong in the network so what are the troubleshooting step we need to follow to detect the uh, to find out the root cause of that HA failure so that we will do in next video for this video I think it is enough if you have any doubt you can leave the comment in the comment box I will try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching